All right, what's up, everybody? Afflicted Gamer here, and welcome back to Vigor. So, as per usual, I will be giving a recap of the dev stream that took place this week, uh, yesterday, from the moment of making this video, which was August the fourth, over on Twitch.tv forward slash Vigor the Game. Now, I keep promising gameplay. Bear with me for two seconds and just hear me out. Uh, some of you already know some of the issues that I've had, but uh, for those of you that don't, uh, just over the past month alone. I've had to replace the modem multiple times uh, at the place that I'm staying here. The power has gone out more times than I think anywhere else that I've ever had to stay. <laughs> more fuses have blown than I've had in my entire life in the course of two weeks. My brand new PlayStation 5 controller after one and a half weeks broke. Meaning... If I would run forward, my character would go like this. Just keeps wanting to stare at the sky for some reason. And then my left joystick started to do the little stick drift like this. A week and a half, and no, I'm not rough with my electronics. So, yeah. And then after that, I had my COVID shot, my first one. Got that. I didn't react all that well to it for some reason. Uh, and I have just haven't... I've been sick and I've been tired, and then the electrical issues, uh, electronic issues, and whatever, just... That's why. So, my apologies. I'm not, not uploading or not, not playing because, you know, I want to <laughs> or whatever. This is not what I want. So, yeah, my apologies. Now, let's go ahead and get into the stuff that you guys really came here for. Season 9 will be called Stalkers. I don't really know the theme of it because they only showed us a tiny bit of the battle pass the first outfit though man was that cool looking if you want to see it uh by next week the partners that have access to the preview builds of course you know i still don't microsoft thing uh by all means check out that guy brian evans dizzy online honorable bandits half battle fox christopher beast ix war dog gaming blouses you name it whoever Whoever can put up some stuff, you know, if you really, really want to see it, go for it. When I get the Battle Pass, I'll do my initial first impressions, you know, review that I do. I could look at the rest of it if I wanted to. I could get the screenshots from the other partners, but uh, I, like, I want the element of surprise to still be there for what I haven't seen. The medals for PlayStation have been fixed. You ever notice the uh, last little while you log in, you have the medals constantly popping up? The things that you've already done, some are perhaps even missing, even though you have completed them. Well, that should be fixed. The daily challenges bug has also been fixed. So, you know, when you come to the daily challenges, uh, say there's one here that you don't want, so I don't want 50 glass. You remove that, and then in an hour and 13 minutes goes by, you have another 24-hour countdown, right? That has been fixed, so you won't have to worry about that anymore. The HBAR bipod lens glitch, you know, when you're aiming down sights, you see part of the bipod in your lens. That has been fixed as well. <sighs> this one's going to upset a lot of people, myself included, a little bit. The buried cache, you know, when you find one of the little diggy spots, that's what I'm going to call them. Make fun of me if you want. And you could just look down, aim your weapon at it, and ping. And then if a little photograph icon popped up, that meant that you found the right spot. That is, uh, wasn't intended, apparently. So now you're going to have to find the picture or just dig up the hole manually. I didn't know that that was the bug. That kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, the running animation, a lot of people think that it looks weird. Some think we look like we're running slower. Some think that they look like they're running faster. Well, the animation stuff has been fixed. The T-pose in elimination has also been fixed. I guess when you kill somebody, uh, they end up in a T-pose. Yep, fixed. Invisibility glitch in shootout is also fixed. The legacy seasons bug where when you claim your rewards, you know when you claim your rewards in the new season, a little page pops up to show you exactly what you have just currently unlocked. It doesn't do that for the legacy seasons. Well, in season nine, it will. Here's the big one. Grenades are coming in Season 9. Yes, they're finally going to be in the live game. 
we're also getting a new gun and it's an assault rifle which couldn't make me happier i just hope that i like the gun uh i don't know why we needed another ak variant but i'll take it we have the a74ku so that'll be the new weapon i don't know the rarity as of yet uh we'll find out though They've made some adjustments and changes and fixes to elimination for Season 9. No more team killing. So all of you... I, I, just, I don't even have a word that I want to use. Uh, the people, you guys that find it so cool or so funny to kill your teammates and ruin the experience for everyone else. You don't get to do that anymore. <laughs> Sorry, but that one makes me happy. I couldn't stand that, you know? Want to play? Get shot in the back right out off a of spawn. Like, really? There's half my health gone. Why? I never saw the purpose. The reward system is going to be tweaked as well, so if you're on the winning team and you didn't really do so well, you'll still get something. I don't know what. I mean, I think the rewards really needed to be changed anyways. There will be elimination crates. That will be one thing for sure. But uh, for the losing team, if you performed well, you'll still get some sort of a reward. Again, I don't know what, don't know the exact specifics yet, but we will soon. But if you did really terrible, you get nothing. Uh, I'm in the middle with this one. I think that just like with any game mode, just like with COD Team Deathmatch, I'm just, as an example, you win, you lose, either way you get something at the end of it. There needs to be a purpose to play, so... Uh, I'm on the fence with that one. <clears throat> there won't be a new map for Season 9. I mentioned that in the last weekly dev stream update, but hopefully for Season 10. Uh, Johanny said the next major update. Major updates are seasons, not the mid-season update like 9.1, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. And by the way, the, those elimination crates and the other stuff, the partners, again, everybody that I mentioned and more, they will be showcasing all of that stuff. They changed the icon, the caffeine icon, because it looks a little bit too much like the antibiotics one. So it'll look like coffee beans now, which is really cool. If you don't know what I'm referring to, go to consumables, see the caffeine, antibiotics. Yeah, they look different enough, but... Uh, too similar, I guess, in their opinions, so they're going to be changed to coffee beans. Ignore the loadout, that's all part of a plan. <laughs> in case anybody was looking at my setup like, what? What are you doing? Don't worry, you guys will see. I've had a plan for a long time for a special video at, that I hope you guys will like, and I just haven't been able to play, so. From now on, when you are in the encounters and you're in the main lobby where everybody has to ready up, once you ready up, everybody else in the lobby will get an audio cue to ready up as well. You know, there's always that one or two that just are too lazy to press a button, or maybe they just forgot. Who knows? Now they'll have an audio cue to remind them, oh yeah, time to ready up since I'm holding everyone back. <laughs> I actually really, really like that. Small change, but it's a nice one. The jammer, quote-unquote, dome glitch. You know, if you went right now and somebody hit the jammer and you tried to drop a mortar strike on the jammed area, it was like there was a protective dome, a big shield around the jammed area protecting you from mortars. That will be fixed for Season 9 as well. So, yes, you could bomb that area. You'll be able to throw grenades in that area. All that cool stuff. And from there, I did mention the titles upon login will be fixed. And finally, the multiple players trying to unlock the lock crates at the same time. You know, you're on one lock, I'm on another lock, and then all of a sudden, the third lock is jammed. That's fixed. So, when Season 9 gets here... Multiple people can open up the crates at the same time if you're on a team, in turn, saving time. So I think that that's a great thing. But that's it, guys. There you have it. That's everything that was discussed, the questions and answers and news that we have for this week's current dev stream. Apologies again for no gameplay, but I hopefully I gave you some insight as to why. And fingers crossed, I'll get this video out that I've had on my mind and planned for a month now. <laughs> 
<laughs> so fingers crossed. Kindly drop a like on this video, though, if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. Consider subscribing for more Vigor content. The subscribe button is free, guys. Let's get to 22K. If you decide later you don't want to be sub, just quickly unsub. You know, there's no harm in either way. Lastly, you can follow me over on Twitter, at AfflictedGamer, and I'll see you very soon out here in the Outlands.